Hey, it's Jen Thun with YourColorStyle.com, and I'm going to share with you this spring, summer's trending colors. These are the colors that are announced by Pantone and the colors that you will see everywhere in the stores for this spring and summer of 2018. So Pantone made it a little bit more complicated this year. It used to be that it was just one set of colors and you have that worldwide. Now they've broken it down into two cities, New York and London, as well as some classic neutrals. They've kind of split that out from the group of colors. So that actually gives us more colors. I'm going to share with you colors from both New York and London because what I discovered this past fall and winter is I, I didn't share the London colors and it turns out that uh, both... Uh, all continents basically started to kind of swap and share colors. So if you walked around stores in the United States, you'd actually see some of the colors from the London collection. So I'm going to share it all with you because I think you're going to see a mix of everything um, wherever you are in the world in the stores. Okay, so first let's start out with the New York colors. And there are 12 of them. And I'm not going to go and read every single color right now. I'm going to share with you a little bit more about them in just a moment. So I'm just going to kind of breeze through this. And by the way, you can get this entire presentation and ebook in the Style Club. And I'll give you information how you can get that. There's also a link in the description of this video. You can go there, join the Style Club, and get the guide to these colors, okay? So if, they, if it goes too fast in the video, you can always go and get the, the download. So here are the colors that you're seeing right now that you're going to see uh, in the New York collection. And then I want to add in the difference. So London also includes five more colors. So they have most of the New York colors plus these five. Okay, so you can see there's a lot of colors coming into the stores this season, and it's a lot of fun. In fact, I just went shopping this past weekend. I, this, it's March 1st as of recording this video, and just this um, past weekend shopping, I already saw a lot of these colors coming into the stores. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of exciting. And then no matter if it's New York or London, there are four classic neutrals that you're going to see. So you're going to see a warm sand, a cool gray, a nice deep blue, and like a coconut milk, which is like a, like a soft, cool white. And you're going to see those everywhere as well to help balance out all of these colors. So let's go ahead and just kind of dive in. I'm going to give you kind of a breakdown of these colors and how to wear them a little bit and who can wear them. So the first one is Meadow Lark. Now this is a, this is kind of a bright color. So I actually show you two slides here and the strips from the color fans. Um, if you have your color fan and you're going to go shopping, you can kind of see where this might fit in your color fan. I can tell you, I've already seen this color in the stores and it is actually on the bright side. So although I include a soft uh, color strip here, I also include the bright because I really think it's just going to depend on the manufacturer and um, and you and if you like it or not. So it's it's a yellow but it has a little bit of black added to it. So it's kind of like a dirty yellow. It's not a pure yellow. So it's I'm not even a good match, a perfect match on the yellow strip here. It's like right in the middle. Like this has black added to it. So it's like just a touch. So it's not a pure yellow, which is why I included the soft yellow strip here because it's just got a little bit of uh, dustiness to it. All right. So it is a universal color because it does come from yellow, but just... You know, if you love it, wear it, and if you don't, don't. But it's a very joyful, very confident color. And just depending on whether you're soft or bright, you'll have to kind of measure whether you can wear it or not. But as far as being cool or warm, actually, everyone can wear it, all right? Um, looking at the color wheel for uh, the soft, I'm using the soft color wheel here, but again, it really depends on which one you see. And Arcadia, which is another color from this trending season it goes beautifully with meadowlark and chili oil and you can see here if you're looking at if you're using the color wheel you can see that from the yellow hue you can use the blue greens which is arcadia or even over here on the reds which would be chili oil and i'm going to be showing you how each of these trending colors mixes with each other so it'll make it a lot easier for shopping if you can pick colors from the same store and just remember 
I don't show the classic neutrals in combination with these colors because they're neutrals. They're going to go with everything and with each other. So I don't go into too much depth co combining those colors, all right? The next is Almost Mauve, and this is the same blushy, pale pink that you saw in the fall winter as well you saw bags and shoes all in this blushy pink you're going to see it again the name has changed but it's fairly similar and it's a color that i feel is very specific to a certain kind of person that can wear it it's, it has a very cool tint to it it's very pale if you cannot handle these pale colors it's going to drain you so just be a little careful when picking it up because you're going to see it absolutely everywhere and in my opinion it's really someone who's going to have cool undertones and can handle those light soft colors best all right uh, combining it it combines very well with the arcadia and with the meadow lark so it's a really great i can almost i actually have a skirt from a few years ago in this same color if i could wear the wear the almost mauve it would be a really pretty combination so you can use kind of the 17 as the hue here to see how you can kind of combine your colors. Again, you can see there's the blue green and um, over here you've got your yellows where you can combine the meadow lark. Pink lavender, in fact, pretty much all shades of purple and pinky purples you're going to be seeing all through the stores. Pink lavender is one of them. I put the soft purple strip here. It's the closest match I could find from the color fans. It's kind of somewhere in between lavender and lavender blush on the strip. It's that pink purple. It is a purple hue in my opinion, so it's universal. It's kind of on the lighter side with a little pink to it, so it's got a real soft romantic feel to it. But in my opinion, everyone can wear it. And it's going to be just everywhere this season. I used the purple hue here on the bright color wheel. And it, you, know, you can see that I, you know, I paired it up with the yellow. So it's the opposite on the color wheel. It's a complementary color combination. Kind of fun. And then spring crocus, which is another purple coming out this season. So it's more of a, a monochromatic look here, which is kind of pretty. Arcadia, which I've already mentioned, is a color that you'll see either as Robin's Egg in the soft color fan or Sea Foam in the bright color fan. And it's kind of a tealy blue. It's going to look great on everyone. So it's universal, has a very fresh feel to it. If you use the, the green blue hue on the color wheel, you'll see that it on the, the complement is Cherry Tomato. And that you'll see everywhere in stores as well. It's a very bright tomato red. Very similar to um, the tomato red we saw in the fall winter. So you can kind of carry that over from the fall into the spring as a transition color. You can also use Rapture Rose. This is one of the London colors. Um, it's over here on the pinks and will look really, really pretty with that Arcadia. All right. So I'm just going to mention that color wheel. If you're liking what you're seeing in the color wheel, uh, you can order that at colorfans.com under the category color wheels. There's both soft and bright, and it is an amazing tool to help you combine colors in really stylish ways. Okay. Lime Punch is a color coming out this season, and wow, it is bright. It is a bright lime green. It is a very warm color. It's very sharp, very bold. Use it in small amounts unless you are just a person that really wants to wear that bright color. Go for it. But it's definitely for the bright and warms, okay? Someone with that is soft should not be wearing this. It's going to really overpower you, and it's going to be probably a little bit too warm for those with cool undertones. This is going to be a really fun color to wear. If you if you look at the yellow greens, you can see that it looks really well with the purples. So ultraviolet, the color of the year, it's going to look amazing with lime punch and spring crocus as well. Really, really dynamic, fun color combinations. So here's that spring crocus. It's a bright purple. Therefore, the purple, it is universal, but it is going to be a little on the bright side. So... You know, be careful if you're someone that looks better in soft muted colors. It might be a little strong for you, but play around with it because it's right there in the middle of the mid to light hue uh, shades and tints. So you could probably pull it off. So it's a universal color. And it also looks really fun with that metal lark and ultraviolet. Again, color of the year. It's That color is going to be looking great with just about everything. 
So let's lead right into ultraviolet then, right? It is a cool color and it is a very intense color. So people with warm undertones wear it as a bottom away from the face. Otherwise, it's really going to kind of bring out those blues in your underneath your eyes. So just be a little careful there because you're going to see this color everywhere. It's going to be very, very popular. It is pretty bright. So people who wear soft muted colors better, it's not going to be ideal as a top, but combine it with something else because it is deep and intense enough where it actually might look really good with just about everything. It's almost like a, like a, an, a substitute for a navy in a way, okay? I combined it here with Spice Apple. So you can see here, here it is. It's, with, it's a blue purple on the color wheel, so it's a cool color. And um, over here with the uh, deep red oranges is one way to wear the color with the spice apple. And I even put a little bit of a splash of the uh, pink lavender in there. And also with meadow lark, because it is almost, almost a complimentary color. So it's a real dynamic color combination. Blue Dahlia is a very soft salmon. It's definitely gonna look best on someone with warm undertones and has a little bit of a softness to them. I think someone who's bright and warm can also wear this pretty well. So just, you know, try it on. It's gonna bring out those natural um, blushes in your cheeks. It's kind of a friendly, romantic color, all right? This is going to look really great as well with that ultraviolet. And I also paired it more monochromatically here with a chili oil. I think that'd be a really great look. Cherry tomato is that bright tomato red that's coming out this season. You're going to see it everywhere. And it's right in between the pure red and the tomato red. It is a hot color. And depending on what manufacturer it is, it might, might become a universal color for people with cool undertones. Otherwise, it's really more for people who are bright and warm. Looking at that color on the color wheel, you can see that the purples, the blue purples are right there and that's your ultraviolets and also that lime punch on the other side for that triad color combination it's a really dynamic fun color i could almost see um scarves in these combinations of colors really fun and bright for the season chili oil this is um on the zero strip it is a universal color but it is very deep so it's going to look best on people who have deep tones deep eyes deep hair um deep even this color in the hair, deep chili in the hair. So it might be a little strong for someone that is a little bit more fair, all right? I've paired it with Little Boy Blue, which is a color of the season as well. Um, if you look here at the pink strip and look over, there's your blues. And I also did a monochromatic look here with the Rapture Rose, which is a color from the London palette. And that I love that look. Little Boy Blue is a very fresh color. The closest thing I could find on the strip, on the color strips, is the is periwinkle. It's very similar to that. It's a universal color. Absolutely everyone could wear this color this season. It's going to look wonderful on everyone. You can pair it with Meadow Lark. You can pair it with Sailor Blue, which is that uh, one of the classic neutrals. I just love that monochromatic, fresh look. And over here, I, I paired it with Arcadia. Um, and the uh, pink lavender. So here is your an analogous color combinations in the color wheel. So there's your blue, over here is Arcadia, and over here is your pink lavender. And so that's just a more um, unique way of wearing those colors, kind of fun. Emperor, Emperor Adore is a brown, and depending on who manufactures, manufactures it, it could be seen as a warm brown or a cool brown so i couldn't find an exact match in the color fans so in the browns it is a it's kind of close to the chocolate brown here in the neutrals as a warm brown and over here it looks pretty close to the rose brown in the cool neutrals so really just depends on the manufacturer so have your color fan with you so you can compare the neutrals and make sure that's going to look best on you otherwise just wear it as a bottom as a neutral and wear it with anything else I kind of love it with that um, with that pale blue. You can also wear it with Meadow Lark and the Arcadia is a fun combination. Pink lavender with it, but look very pretty. And let's not forget that almost mauve blushy pink that we saw earlier. That's going to look really pretty with this deep, deep brown. All right. All right, in the London colors, we have an ash rose. There is not a good match at all in the color fans because it is such a gray muted pink. I did include the soft uh, pink strip here because I believe that it is the 
it's in this family, even though it's not as gray as the colors in the strip. So I'm in my, you know, I tell people that the color fan for soft is the brightest you should go, but if it goes grayer, those colors are going to look good on you too. This is a color that's going to look good on people who are soft and warm and soft and cool. So it's kind of universal in there, but definitely not for someone that's bright. It's going to drain you of color. It's going to go, it's going to look best on someone with, um, softness about them. Okay. So since I clearly couldn't find it on the, the color fit, cause it's such a, a since I couldn't, so since I couldn't find it on the color wheel, I just combine it with colors I feel you could you could do so f- to help you because it's an unusual color, and besides just wearing it with your neutrals, what c- else could you wear it with? And I think it'll look really well with the Nile Green, which is a London color, Spice Apple, and Little Boy Blue. Those are colors that are it's a unique combination, but I think will look really really nice together. Nile green is another color from the London palette. It is a very light green. I included here the soft uh, Kelly green strip from the soft color fan. And I think that's the closest match to it. It's a little bit grayer, just like that ash rose is a little bit grayer than the strip. So it's definitely going to look on, look good on someone that has those soft tones. It's a warm color. I recommend this for someone who is soft and warm. It has a very fresh feel about it. It's going to look great with those with the Rapture Rose, the Palace Blue, and even that Ultraviolet. I think it's going to look really nice with those colors. Palace Blue comes from that bright blue uh, strip. It, it, I say bright blue, but I really think that this color is going to look good even on someone that has softness also. So it's an absolutely a universal color. It's a very it's full of energy. It can be worn by everyone. If you look at it as the bright blue hue on the color wheel across over here in the split complementary is your yellows for the metal lark. And on the other side, you have the blooming dahlia. I don't care for your soft, uh, your soft orange reds. So those are two color combinations you can try out. Rapture Rose is such a beautiful, beautiful pink, a very romantic, flirty color. Comes straight from the bright color strip in the color fan for pinks. You can see it's kind of right here in the pinks and the peach pinks. Very pretty color. It is a universal color. It can be worn by everyone. It is soft. It's right in between soft and bright, so it can also be be worn by this, uh, people who can wear soft tones. So this is a color that's gonna look good on everyone this season. Pair it with the blue for a split complementary look with the palace blue here, and even Spice Apple for more of a monochromatic look. And then here's your Spice Apple. This is a deep chili, come from the same color strip as that Rapture Rose, but it's up here in the deep uh, deep colors, which is why it's a monochromatic look. Again, it's a universal color because it's on that zero strip. It's going to look good on everyone, but be careful because it is very deep. So I recommend it mostly for people who have darker hair or darker eyes. It might be a little overpowering close to the face for someone who is fair, but if you love it, you can maybe wear it as a bottom instead and wear it with all your colors. Okay. And here's some fun examples that Spice Apple um, as a split complementary, you can wear it with the blue. So I have t- the two blues here um, combined. Even the Nile greens is a fun and interesting color combination. It is real almost on the opposite side of the color wheel here for a dynamic common, co- you know, dynamic combo. Um, kind of fun to try out. And then we have our classic neutrals. I did the best I could to com- to match it to your color to the color fans, but it wasn't always a perfect match. So we have a warm sand. Uh, this is definitely a pretty good match to the sand in the uh, warm color fans. And so this is a neutral that will go with everything. Same with the Harbor Mist. It's a very cool, uh, cool gray. This is in the cool neutrals. All right. Again, wear it with any of those colors that we've seen before. Sailor Blue, very deep navy, very serious color. And again, can be worn, and all these neutrals can be worn together, by the way, um, or you can wear with the colors. And then Coconut Milk, this is a very cool color. It's it's a, it's a soft white, uh, and you're not gonna be able to maybe see it by eye, but it's gonna have a little bit of a coolness to it. So I'm not sure I would recommend this to someone with warm undertones because it is so cool, but it is a beautiful neutral and can again, be worn with all of the other colors. Very quickly, I want to just kind of just point out some of these trends that we're seeing in these colors. So you're going to see a lot of purples, rich browns, and blues. And so if I were to bucket these together, you can see here, here's almost a full range of pinks to purples 
that you'll see those rich browns to the eye. You're, it's going to be a little difficult to see which is different. Um, so just where would you, you know, see what you like, see what the stores offer you, but you can see they're very similar here. So you have those rich red browns you're going to see and those blues again, a almost a full range of blues. So those are all colors that you'll be seeing a lot of. I want to break these down a little bit more for you. Again, you'll have the guide that you can download on. And again, the link will be in the description, but there are colors that everyone can wear out of everything I've shown you so far. I've grouped them for you. These are colors that everyone can wear. Just be careful of the depth and the brightness, um, depending on what store you're in and buying from. Then there are colors that only look good on you if you have cool undertones. And so here they are, and they're kind of, it's kind of pretty all together. So if you have those cool undertones, try combining these together, ultraviolet with the Harbor mist and coconut milk, really, really pretty cool. Uh, color combos there and then there are colors that look only look good on people with warm undertones you see here you've got that lime punch that cherry tomatoes blooming dahlia all those look best on someone with warm undertones and so you can use this as a guide when you're shopping this season use your color fan as a guide so you can see which which of those colors in the stores are really going to look best on you so take your color fans with you and if you don't have one you can get that at colorfans.com okay if you like this content, please subscribe. And if you want this guide, it is in the Style Club. So visit club.yourcolorstyle.com to get all the info and access to this guide for you this season. Thanks for watching.